here with the Ruckus R770. This is the first business class Wi-Fi 7 802.11ve access point available. Now the R770 has two 10 gigabit capable ethernet ports. One is 2.5 multi gig with PoE in. To get full functionality, you should have a 60 watt PoE++ switch or injector. There's also a jack for an external power supply. And you should use at least a 2.5 gig switch to get the most out of it. One of the big changes for Wi-Fi 7 is a 320 megahertz channel width available versus 160 for Wi-Fi 6E. So I added the Ruckus R770 into my R1 cloud by typing in the serial number and set the six gigahertz interface to 320 megahertz. Other big change from Wi-Fi 6 and 6E is that you're able to use multi-link to aggregate the bandwidth from multiple interfaces. So it's early days for Wi-Fi 7. The client devices haven't quite caught up yet. I had to join the Windows Insider program and load a beta build to make sure I had all the Wi-Fi 7 features in the OS first. Before I did this, I was noticing inconsistent results with Wi-Fi 7. Then I installed an Intel BE200 into my laptop. I'll post a link to that video here also. I was able to connect to the R770 at a link speed of over five gigabits at about a 10 foot distance. And you see here, Windows 11 says it's an aggregate connection. So there's at least two interfaces. I fired up my Osseum Clarity Spectrum Analyzer and you can see the multi-link in action first on the six gigahertz interface and then on the 5.8 gigahertz. You can see the two channels are combined. Also see multi-link in action on the R1 cloud on the client page. Now this easily maxed out my Comcast gigabit internet connection. Next, I ran an iPerf speed test. The R770 is connected to 10 gigabit ethernet with a DC power supply and my workstation is also connected to 10 gigabit on the same switch. So I'm seeing a maximum of 2.4 gigabits per second. Now, when I ran this test on Wi-Fi 6E access points at 160 megahertz channel width, I was seeing about 1.6 gigabit maximum. So it's definitely an improvement. This is just a single client test and I was able to use up 2.5 gigabits of data. So you probably wanna look at a 10 gigabit switch for a busy network. There you go. There's the Ruckus R770. It's available today at keenansystems.com. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Wi-Fi and tech products.